Juby Yohanan, an art curator who is passionate about different art forms that liberates the mind and creates harmony in the society. Today, I'm realizing my dream by associating with artists who work in the same spirit. Let me introduce to you an artist who is not only an artist, a published poet, an author, and who has to her credit done more than 60 shows, both solo and group shows, internationally and nationally. She has conducted different workshops which helps children to uh, have a deep understanding of the ecosystem and spaces within ourselves. So, Anuradha, in 2012, at Sarah Art Gallery, Bangalore, you had an exhibition titled Tortoise Nautilus, Venus and Us. In this exhibition, you highlighted patterns within patterns. Could you see patterns emerging in the current situation, especially with your participation in Logamet Tarwal? show at Sarah Arakil's gallery uh, called uh, Tortoise, Nautilus, Venus and Us was an amazing experience for me because it is, um, for the first time, I learned about the pi ratio, the divine ratio, how it is uh, there everywhere in nature and also uh, within us. So um, the connecting factor we are connected to the skies, the whole universe. Uh, we're all in it together. Uh, and this divine ratio is there. So I was fascinated by the thought that when we do a column in front of our house, a design or a pattern that we draw, that it could be similar to the patterns that um, the stars and the planets are weaving as they uh, revolve. So that was a huge uh, moment of realization or a connect that you feel with the skies, that this okay. could be this culture of drawing, uh, that it could come from, from that. Okay, we're not going into that, but I, I'm, what I wanted to say is that, um, I understand that these patterns exist, whether it is the sun or the moon cycle, uh, everything in nature has a cycle. And so do we, we all move within that and our behavioral patterns, everything has a pattern. Right. And therefore the fact is that there is a lot of similarity in us than the differences. It depends on what you want to look at. So I would rather look at the similarities. And I would like to see this whole thing as at that time, when I understood this, I felt that this whole organism, which includes uh, the universe, the various uh, fields, the magnetic fields, the forces at play, the energies in within us, it is the same. It could be the same, right? So yes. um, when something moves here, something has to happen there. All right, right. Somebody has talked about that, how a butterfly's wing, if it moves here, if it shudders here, uh, there will be a storm elsewhere. Correct. No, it's a quote. Yes. Yeah, so uh, people have understood this connect that everything is one. And right. that probably is the same with uh, Lokame Taravada. The world is one, not just the world. Uh, it is also everything that goes uh, in the world. Right. And I think you, you, will, you will know that it is uh, um, uh, from uh, Vallatol Narayana. It was taken, the, the words Lokame Taravada was taken from there. Right. So uh, now there is a huge cultural shift in this fast pace uh, of today's life that we are going through. And uh, every aspect of an artist's life is also 
transforming in that speed. Uh, how do you view the current spaces of exhibition that's transforming, especially this exhibition, Tarwad, Lokme Tarwad? <coughs> So, um, I don't think it is just an exhibit. Lokamai Taravad is just a normal exhibition. Obviously, it is not. It is done on such a huge scale. So much of work has gone uh, behind it. And um, uh, uh, a whole cultural landscape, they're trying to shift a whole cultural landscape in right. Kerala. Yes. Right? So... What, what do you mean by uh, culture? Culture means your belief systems, right? A culture is formed. Right now we are celebrating Onam. Today oh. is Onam. That's we are right. celebrating Onam. What is this culture? It has come from uh, a lot of people behind us who have created this kind of a culture with our thoughts and our belief systems. Over a now, period of time. Of over a period of time. Uh, we are all stories. All of us are stories. We are all living stories. There is a larger story of Onam around us. There is a smaller story of Onam within me and within you. Yes. Right? So now this culture, um, how do you shift this culture? It can be, it is done only over a period of time and with a lot of effort, uh, continued effort. It is a yatna, isn't it? A culture right. doesn't just happen like that. It is a, yes. a huge task. And I think Lokamaya Tarwada, the organizers, uh, both Krishnamachari and his team, have put their weight behind this idea and uh, come up with this concept. Uh, it's not even a concept. It is. It should be a living uh, reality. People should start... Um, accept the fact that the world is actually one at least try to understand the beauty of that concept huh? that the world is one um, and act accordingly so okay. uh, here a new culture which is being formed by um, what to say resurrecting these old structures these buildings which have been lying vacant in Alepi Right. All that has been, yeah, it's, so the walls are uh, places, it has been converted. So it's kind of like a resurrection itself into right. these right. museum spaces. So they're trying to introduce a new culture and um, uh, there are more than 3000 uh, works which are being exhibited there of all kinds, uh, all media. It's not just paintings and sculptures, uh, digital media, installations, everything is uh, a part of uh, Lokam Mitharwada. Right. Uh, you mentioned yeah, about yeah. Narayana Menon, uh, who wrote the, from where this Lokam Mitharwad, that, word, that coin, word is coined. Also, your grandmother has written a poem uh, called Bhagam Vekil. There is a dichotomy in this uh, two poems. What is your inference on the on the exhibition and and in particular this poem written by your grandmother? Okay, I think it is uh, for some reason it is easier for us to understand uh, life if you know what death is. So if you experience dying then you appreciate life much more okay. so it is just the other side of the other side of the coin so um lokamay taravada is reviving it is a resurrection it's a new culture uh, that is uh, happening the poem uh, which i magam uh, vekil uh, which means partition it's about partitioning so it is mm -hmm. kind of the uh, opposite of it but it is it's all part of that whole only when this happens will you understand the beauty of that so it would be nice um uh, to i thought it would be nice to understand it through uh nalapad balam niyama's uh, poem called bhagam vekil but before that if i can just go back to the lokame tarwada 
uh, show uh, and the new culture, uh, you know, they have uh, invited um, uh, how many artists? I'm not very sure. I think it's about 267. Uh, 200, okay, 267 uh, artists from who have roots in Kerala are participating. So it's such a massive show. And um, also women artists. Um, so there's no gender, uh, everything, you know, divisions are as less as, so there's no caste and creed and gender and all in this. Um, mm. As much as possible, people from all walks of life, uh, there is there are artists who have been supported by galleries who are presenting their works here. There right. are artists who have no galleries who are supporting them, um, like me. There are artists, uh, there are very young students, college students. Uh, Bose has supported uh, these students. He has um, uh, confidence, right, by bringing their works uh, right. into, a, into such a large uh, show. Please. There are people with no money. There are artists who are struggling not only because of the COVID times, but uh, before that also artists have been struggling to make ends meet. So there yeah. are many artists who uh, are participating in the show, those who have money, those who don't have money, those who have studio spaces, those who have just a nail on the wall and they're putting their canvas on the wall and painting. So the um, which uh, was shared uh, online about somebody who is driving an auto and um, um, trying to buy materials to paint okay. for this, you know. So all, all, all this is um, a very, it, it is obviously inclusive. It is a new culture. So there could be resistance to these kind of, and what I really um, enjoyed in the, in the first Biennale also, when I first went there, what struck me was that um, works and installations were put mm -hmm. up um, in these in Pepper House and you know these uh, spaces, uh, but the walls were all dirty. dirty you could right. see the stones, uh, and it was not painted. It was not inside a sterile gallery space that it was right. uh, shown. So I think even then, even that was a cultural shift. Absolutely, even that was a, absolutely and about it on the walls people were painting anything and everywhere people were uh, talking art Correct. so those are the shifts in the landscape itself in Kerala's cultural landscape and the government also has approved it and they have come uh, and supported uh, the artists and they have given the spaces yes. not easy but yes. they have agreed to it and uh, together this is working. Okay. okay. Um, about uh, the poem, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, okay. So this poem is called Bhagam Kainit. Okay. I'm not going to be reading it in uh, Malayalam, but uh, I'm just going to be telling you what I got out of the out of this poem. Right, right. And here it is. Um, she starts off by saying that the soul of a family. Okay. This is bhagam. Vekil happen. It happens inside a family. There will be a father and a mother, and there'll be children, and you're dividing land. Uh, and, or property amongst these people. So she says, the soul of a family goes through delivery pains right. and finally comes um, in Malayalam it is called Yuga Sandhiye Pettu. Yuga Sandhiye Pettu. No, okay. remember, it is, it is, a, it is uh, a new time is being Born. Born. She's trying to describe a, a new moment which is happening. Right. And what is this? What is this new moment? Um, nyangale 
ഞാനാക്കിയ നിമിഷം ഞങ്ങൾ സഡൻലി വി ഹാസ് ബിക്കം ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് എ പാർട്ടീഷൻ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് വി ബിക്കംസ് ഐ ഐ ഓ ഓക്കെ right so i'm thinking isn't that similar to a new culture which is getting formed a new culture happens over a period of time that's right you go through a lot of birthing pains and then something new arises out of it right new culture new behavior everything we become uh, new when our old patterns break break that's right i think that's the crux of the poem uh, where we become i that is the crux of that uh, entire uh, turning point you can say yes right yes yeah that is uh, that is what the uh, poetry is about that's why i felt that it would be easy uh, it it will have some connect with the title lokame tarawad the world is one one family 